what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're hopping back into the brand new season with an eternatus and zassian series 12 team you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content at any time make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It goes a long way. And another announcement I want to make, your boy has made a Twitter page. Jeans over on Twitter, at Jeans YouTube over on Twitter, whatever you guys want to call it. There will be a link down in the description below. Definitely do me a favor. If you guys have Twitter, go down there, hit that follow button, and join the community over there. We got extra content and a huge announcement coming on that Twitter page in just a short amount of time. So like I said, go follow that Twitter. Link is down in the description below. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the lovely Eternatus, a Pokemon that you don't get to see too much. But since it's a brand new season, I like to use some new Pokemon, new teams, have some fun with it. So we're rocking out with him with the Pressure and the Dragon Fang as item and it. We got Dynamax Cannon, 4 stab moves, and it does double damage to any Dynamax Pokemon. Then we got Sludge Bomb for stab, Flamethrower for coverage, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Zacian. One of the best Pokemon in Series 12. Ever since Restricted Mons has been allowed, Zacian has been dominating the meta, and same thing goes for this team. He's going to be in here doing some work. We got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, obviously, as item and ability. Rocking out with Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Substitute, and Protect for this thing's moveset. Middle left is Incineroar, we're done with it. I should just say Shukaberry Incineroar because the only thing that really changes with Incineroar is going to be the item. So there it is, Shukaberry Incineroar, normal moveset, normal ability. Fourth Pokemon on squad is lovely Grimstarl. I love Grimstarl, man. Grimstarl never gets old to me. It's that one Pokemon that can be in on every single series because it's just a great support mon and it works well. It's not like OP, it's not broken. It's just a solid support mon, you know? But we got Prankster, we got Focus Sash as item and ability, Rocking with Thunder Wave for Paralyzes and Speed Control, Spirit Break for Stab Damage and Special Attack Drop, Fake Tears for Special Defense Drop, and last but not least, we're rocking Fake Out for those first turn flinches. Bottom left hand corner is going to be G Max Blastoids over here. We got the Torrent ability alongside with the Mystic Water as its item, you know, to make some water moves do a little bit more damage. We got Hydro Cannon, Blizzard, Helping Handy to make allied Pokemon do more damage. And then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is Defiant Thunders. And I always love this Defiant Thunders uh, moveset and items. We got the Assault Vest as an item, makes them a bit more bulkier. And then we're rocking with this crazy strong moveset Wild Charge Fly, two stab moves, Brick Break to Break Screens, and then we got Lash Out for our Dark Coverage move. Really love this Pokemon. Really good in all different situations and has a great move pool to work with. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Don't let the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Eternatus and Zacian team. This is what I love about brand new seasons. You're always seeing some fun teams on the ranked ladder. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex and Xerneas team that also has Sil Valley, who I haven't seen in a while, Thunderous, Women's Kakai, and Regilecki. Okay, how am I playing this one? How am I going to roll into it? I forgot in the last video, we did grab ourselves a perfect record. So right now, we're 3-0 in the, new, in the new season. Hopefully, we keep that streak rolling and keep it going. But uh, I think we might lead Eternit this year. We kind of have a decent amount of speed here. Women's Kakai is going to come in here and be a little bit of a pain. But I might go Grimmsnarl and... Thunderous could be solid. Could be solid. But who could he lead? He could lead Sil Valley for a, you know, explosion. That's kind of scary. We do not like that. We do not like that. But, ah, uh, dude, who do, who do I go into? I think Zassin could be a good lead, so we we don't allow him to set up Xerneas. Because that could be a huge problem. So I'm going to go there. I might lead you as well. Or I might go into Grimstrong. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I could go Blastoise Grimstrong, which isn't too shabby. Set up the Hydro Cannon and get the Vortex damage. What does Jeans want to do here, man? What do I want to do? You know, we're just going to go in here. Actually, mm, what do I want to do? I have no idea. You know, we're just going to go here. I'm going to bring Eternatus. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards uh, Grimstar or Incineroar. I feel like Incineroar could be a bit better in this situation. So I'm going to lock in Incineroar, lock him down, and we're going to get rolling here in battle number one. But like I mentioned in the team preview, your boys got a Twitter. Yeah, yes, I got a Twitter. Head down the link in the description below if you guys have Twitter. Click that link. Hit that follow button over there. It's going to be so much more easier for me to communicate with you guys because, you know, Twitter is just super user-friendly. It's just like quick types, quick chats, all that good stuff. We're going to be doing some cool tweets, cool clips over there. I can respond to you guys more easily. Just go hit that follow button. Head over there. We're going to get some awesome content going there. So, really appreciate you guys for, you know, hopping over there and hitting that follow button. But he goes Xerneas alongside Wim Scott, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. That is This is exactly why I led this Asian was because of that Xerneas was because of that Xerneas. I didn't want to come in here and setting up, but uh, what could he go into here? I'm trying to think of what he could do here, but you know, I'm just going to Dynamax get one here. Or I could set up a sub. I could make a hard read and set up a sub, which I think I'm going to do. Sub up, and then, you know, just Dynamax and go here. But he's probably going to protect and, uh, he's either going to protect and, uh, what's it called? Or swap, you know? 
And I'm kind of getting scared because he didn't swap. So we're hoping he's going to protect that and set up this free sub. That'd be a lovely little turn. So we're going to Dynamax my Thunderous here. We're going to take a little bit of speed control. I'm going to do some damage onto that. Uh, this, what's it called? This Whimsy Poo. Let's see what he does with Whimsy Poo. Kind of scared of what he's going to do with Whimsy Poo. He's going to end up using Tailwind. So he's just going to get straight after us. Is he going to use a, what's it called? A Geomancer? here? No, he gets from Misty Explosion. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Misty Explosion comes out here. That's totally fine. I just didn't want him setting up Geomance. That's kind of scary, though. Look at that. Misty Explosion. He's doing some work on everybody. <laughs> doing some work on everybody. I'm fine with that turn. We set up a sub. We set up a sub. We take out two Pokemon. It's an awful turn by him. I'm with it all day, yo. I'm with it all day. I think we just won the battle. I think we just won battle number one. <laughs> I was going to be upset if he set up Geomance there. Because then we would have been like, eh. But still, we would have had sub. Could have been able to block up a shot and then hit him hard behemoth blade. But I'm with it all day, yo. Sub set up. My boy over here, plus one speed. Oh, we're loving it. We're loving it, yo. Solid, solid first turn. Missy Explosion was kind of scary because you don't, you never really know how much damage it's really going to do because you don't see it too often. So I was sitting there, I was like, dude, that animation's deadly. It's like a giant explosion. That's exactly what it was. Luckily, it didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. And we're able to soak and grab some speed. So now he's going to throw out Regilecki, and his final Pokemon is going to be Calyrex. Okay, uh, what do I do from here? He has Tailwind set up, but I think we're fine on speed. I really do think we're fine on speed. Might Dynamax Regilecki. Who do we take out? Who do we Behemoth Blade and just slap on? I think we just go into here. Go into Calyrex, right? We go into a Max Darkness here, which could, which could lower special defense, but we have... We do have a special attacker in the back end. What do I do? I think I think I take a bit more speed here with an Airstream. Just so Regilecki's not that fast. Or I can just go straight into like a Max Darkness. What do I want to do? You know, we're going to do this. We're going we're gonna to slide this over. We're going to go Behemoth Blade this slot. And then I think I'm just going to Airstream over on the U. I want a bit more speed. Because Regilecki might be the Pokemon that he Dynamaxes. And he might protect the Calyrex. Regilecki just goes straight for a Thunderbolt. I'm cool with that. That's fine. Our sub soaks that up all day. And then uh, we should go before that Calyrex. Unless that Calyrex has a fast build on him. Yep, we go first. And Behem Behemoth Blade is going to fly at the rear. And dang, now I wish we used it on the Calyrex. But it's all good. We're going to get off some big damage on the Reggie here. Even though it's not very effective. We take him out in one shot. That's GG's, yo. Jeans just took this battle. Just took this battle and ran with it. And I'm I'm kind of confused why he didn't Dynamax here. I guess he wanted to use a Glacial Lance, but we should have went for Max Darkness there. We're going to take a bit more speed. Should be thriving. Should be thriving. What an easy first battle. Easy first battle, but we're not going to get the sweep because he's going to take out my Zass in here, right? Or he takes out my Thunders. Okay, either or. <laughs> either or. It's all good. I actually rather him take out my Thunders because my Zassian could take out the single one shot even if he Dynamaxes. So, that's lovely. We have speed control. We're thriving here. That's fine. You can have that chilly Naples. Get out my game. Get out my lobby. We're going to start off 4-0 in season. In the new season. Which we love. I mean, I could go into you, but I kind of just want to pull out Xerneas because he's cool. <laughs> we know we have this battle unlocked. Obviously, if I want to, like, completely, like, solidify this battle, I would just go into, uh, Incineroar and drop a fake out, but well, well, there's no fun in that. Let's have Xerneas out here. Or Eternatus. Eternatus. Look at that thing. Lovely. And then we can drop a Dynamax Cannon, because that's just a cool move. But Behemoth Blade's going to come in here. I think our opponent just canceled the battle anyway. Yep, he canceled the battle, and we start off 1-0. Let's keep the hot streak rolling, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting at 1-0 for today's video, and 4-0 on the brand new season. Let's keep it going. We're going up against a Zamazetta and Zygarde team that also features Defiant Thunderous, Tapu Fini, and then the Incineroar and Rillaboom. How am I playing this one? How am I going into it? Eternatus could be solid. Eternatus could do good. We could go Grimmsnarl and Eternatus, which could rock out really, really strong for us. We could go Blastoise Grimmsnarl, which I really, really like uh, as well. But, you know, that what's called the scare me, the roll boom. So, you know what? We're not, we're not going to be leading the Blastoise. We're going to be leading the Eternatus, bring Zacian in the back end, and then last but not least, we're going to be rocking out with Blastoise. I like Blastoise. I really do like Blastoise. Four times super effective onto that uh, onto that side guard. Super effective on the Incineroar. You can't go wrong with it. Plus, it's a G-Max Blastoise. Like, G-Max Hydro Cannon. Just does so much damage. It does, or G-Max Canyon Aid, whatever it's called. It just does so much damage. It really does. It really does, but we gotta keep the streak rolling here. Pretty cool teams we're going up against. And yo, look at this. Look at this battle terrain. How come it's like this? Is this all the time? Why are we battling here? I like it though. That's cool. I'm used to like the, the other stadium, but I'm with it all day. He's gonna go Zamazetta alongside with uh, Thunderous out here. So Thunderous, oh, we could fake out, but Thunderous might die max. I'm trying to think what we, what we should do here. I think what we should do here. Hmm. 
Jinx player. I think I'm just gonna go for the fake out here. Actually, I'm just gonna go for the Thunder Wave because he might Dynamax that Thunderous. He might Dynamax that Thunderous. And in this case, I'm just gonna drop a nice, lovely Dynamax Cannon onto that slot. No, he does not. He does not Dynamax, but still, Dynamax Cannon can do some work. We're gonna Thunder Wave onto the Zamazetta, get him paralyzed, take a bit of speed control throughout the battle, which is really good for us. And we already outspeed that thing, so we're gonna be able to chip off some damage here. Nice little chip damage here. Loving it. How much damage is this gonna do? Be able to do at least half, right? Oh, way more than half. Way more than half. We love that. That's some big damage. And he's going to taunt me. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Because now I can just spear break into him and kind of just go, go after this thing. He's just going to snarl me. That's fine. You can snarl me all day, little pup. Little pup, you can snarl me all day. I'm going for the burn on him. Actually, I can't burn. I have paralyzed. <laughs> I have paralyzed already on him. But uh, that ain't bad. From here, we just go for a nice little spear break. We're taunted. And then we stay in a little longer. Let's go for a flamethrower. Yeah. We'll chip up some damage with some flamethrower. Zamazetta's really not posing a threat. He's kind of just bulky on defense. We're special attacking. He can strong me again. I can eventually swap out. I'm fine with that. He's paralyzed too. Might as well chip up some damage. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. There's no way he Dynamax that Thunderous, right? It's on like 2 HP. <laughs> if he does, I'll, I'll actually like thank him. Because that, that could pretty much give us the match. Let's see how he plays this one. But I knew, I kind of like know that he wanted to uh, Dynamax that Pokemon. But since we dealt so much damage to him, he's kind of like, yeah can't like you do we know he, he, he can't dynamax that okay cool he doesn't dynamax we're gonna drop a flamethrower get off some damage we are minus one on special attacking but still that ain't bad damage for a coverage move right there we like it this thing's gonna fly that's totally fine that's totally fine so i'm gonna set up for a behemoth uh what is it a behemoth bash Deal some damage yeah behemoth bash comes out here can we eat that up you might be able to eat that up i don't know why i don't know why i feel like grimstone can eat that up do not know why but i don't mind if he dies yeah, he dies. Okay, he's done. <laughs> later. Later, Grimmsnarl. He's going to take some damage. He's gone. All right, so from here, uh, I think we're just going to... Blastoids could be a great Dynamax. Blastoids is going to be a great Dynamax. Even though Snarl's kind of scaring me. Um, I think we just go right into a uh, a Dynamax. And then into a Candy Need. We chip up some Candy Need damage, and we double down his Zamas at all day, right? Because what's he going to do? He's going to fly and then go down to Candy Need damage. I'm with it all day. He protects, he protects. That's fine by me. But this is a perfect little Dynamax for us. We outspeed him. Both my Pokemon outspeed him. He's not going to be able to uh, get off a Snarl. I'm really liking it. So, my boy's getting a Dynamax. We're setting up the Candy Need damage. So lovely. Super, super good. And then I'm thinking of swapping my Eternatus due to him being minus one. But we'll see. We'll see. It really depends on who is back in Pokemon. Really. really depends on that. So, we Dynamax and we get off a of Flamethrower. Yeah, this Amazed is gone. This Zamazetta is gone. Get this Zamazetta out of my face. We're going to drop it with this Candy Nade. Plastoid should be able to outspeed him, right? Fly comes out here. That's easy eats all day. Easy eats. We love that. And then Candy Nade should fly. Beautiful. Take out the Zamazetta, and then the Candy Nade damage is going to take out the, the Thunders. Mwah, we love this turn. Lovely turn, Joe. Lovely turns. Lovely turns. Huge turn. And then I'm guessing he has Zygarde, right? I'm guessing he has Zygarde, and I'm hoping he has Zygarde because, you know... We have Blizzard, or we have, uh, what is it? G Max Hailstorm, or not G Max Hailstorm. What are the Dynamax moves called? Max Hailstorm. We have Max Hailstorm. That'll be four times super effective to him because he's drowned in Dragon and he could just rip through him. So I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm liking this battle. I'm liking how we're playing right now. We still have Zassy in the back, which is really good. And he's going to be forced to throw out Zygarde. And then his next Pokemon, which is going to be Incineroar. So he's definitely Dynamax and Zygarde. And I'm wanting to just drop a Dynamax Cannon into that. I think that's our play all that. We should outspeed both these guys. He might have fake out. He might be ready to roll with that. But in this case, you know what? I'm just going to take out Incineroar, no problem. And then from here, I'm just going to drop a Dynamax Cannon. Right? That's my play all day. That is my play all day. I'm really liking what we're seeing. Because Zygarde isn't the fastest, like, restricted mod. We have Zassy in the back. Can definitely outspeed him, get off some big damage. I'm liking what we're seeing. I really am. Well, let's see who we Dynamax. Because he can Dynamax either or, but I really do think Zygarde's going to be play here. But that's tough for him because we have. Like I said, Hailstorm, and we're also rocking Dynamax Cannon, which is really, really good. So I feel like the only way we uh we we can uh, start falling back here is if this Incineroar fakes out my uh, Eternatus, which I, I think he's going to do, but I still think we'll be thriving here. Let's see what he does here. Fake out coming in hot. Fake out coming in hot. Okay, so he fakes out my Eternatus. That's fine. And then uh, who goes first? So I got going to go first, and he's just going to drop a Max Quake. It's going to be in a two Eternatus. That's actually, actually a really good play. The turn is going to go down there, no problem. And uh, they're going to get a special defense boost, which I'm hoping that we can just take out this. That would be good, but the special defense boost is a little scary. So we get this super effective shot off, and then more importantly, we have the G Max Canyon chipping off next turn. And we can just bring out Zassian and kind of roll off from there. 
I'm liking. I'm liking. So Kenny need flying out here. Look at this. Oh, send it. How much damage? Okay. Well, oh, so close. So close. He's probably buried, right? Yeah. So he's buried. Uh, at this point, we bring out Zassian. And Zassian could just sacred sword that thing and take that out. And then I could drop a hail sword. Right? Sounds good. Sounds really nice. Sounds really nice. And this is this thing leftovers? Okay, so he's not weak this policy. Some Zygarns are. Alright. Well, not bad. Not bad turns for us. Look at that. Vortex damage. God dang, yo. That damage is too much. That damage is way too much. But yeah, we're gonna hop into our Zassian here. And we're gonna thrive out from here. We are going to thrive out from here. I think we're chilling. Yeah, drop a Hailstorm into Zygarde. Get off as much damage as I can. And then go from there. I don't see Zygarde. He might be able to take out my Zassian in one shot. But still, that leaves that leaves my Blastoise at full HP. And then having the hail out on the field is huge. Because uh, Blizzard will hit 100% of the time, which is good. So Sacred Sword flies. He's probably going to Max Quake me. Which could be a little tough. But as long as my Zassian can eat, I don't know if he can. I don't know. This one's, it's, we're going to be cutting this one close, actually. He's going for another Max Quake. Oh, and then he's going to change forms. Oh, 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 this is scaring me. It's scaring me a little bit. Eat this ass. Zassian, I love you, dude. I love you, Zassian. That was, that's the biggest eat ever. That legit just won us a match, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that just won us a match. That's huge. That is huge. That is enormous. We love it. We love it. Buffets are going to start hitting up on my Zassian, so he might protect this time, which would be kind of smart, but not smart at the same time because then he loses his last turn to max. But if he protects, will that KO us? Oh, that's kind of close. That just did 11 damage. That just did 11 damage. So if it stays 11, we should be fine. Oh, do not brought him down to half. Of course it did. Oh, but that's going to bring him back above half, right? So his ability won't pop. I'm cool with that. So no ability for him. We're not, we don't want that thing to pop yet. My turns are over. I can drop a free blizzard, hit 100% of the time. And, we can... and then just Behemoth Blade, right? Blizzard. And then Behemoth Blade. Double damage. I could have helped hand this Behemoth Blade. That could be good, but... uh. I think this is our play. He's going to guard. He is going to guard. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because I think Zassian should be able to eat up this uh, Buffet right here. I think Zassian should be able to eat up this Buffet. Zassian, eat this up. Let's go. Let's go, Zassian. Let's go, Zassian. I love it. I love it. Zassian landing on one, but this thing is going to get his ability, right? His ability is going to go through it. Oh, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, he sends his power construct is coming out. Dude, this battle super close. Super, super close. Yeah, this one plays. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He goes up to get so much more HP. He gets so much more HP. But at this point, my Zassian gets off a free turn. Unless he unless he lands a double protect. That'd be that'd be obnoxious. Yeah, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna be Hemoth Blade, right? Behemoth Blades are best. We're gonna be Behemoth Blade here. We're gonna get one. Let's get off some damage here. He, he goes for double protect. That's huge. He does not land it. Uh, yeah, that was like his last ditch effort was that double protect. So Behemoth Blade flies through here. I think we're chilling now. I think we are chilling. This should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Yep, and Blizzard comes in here. 100% actually. That's GG's. Let's get it, guys. There it is for you. 2 0. We're rocking out 5 0 in the brand new season. Let's hop through that third and final battle. Look, grab ourselves a perfect record. Come on, baby. Let's keep it rolling yet again. We're 2-0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record and keep our season alive. We're 5-0 in the season. Let's make it 6-0. We're going up against a really tough team here. I'm actually kind of scared. Comfy, Solgaleo, Incineroar, Kyogre, Serene, and Landorus. Or not Landorus. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. What's that thing's name? Not Landorus. Uh, Tornadus. Tornadus. That's his thing's name. Uh, yeah, team's looking really, really tough. We're, we're, we're looking like we're going to struggle here. Really are looking like we're gonna struggle. I think we gotta lead a Pokemon like you and just die max early and take some speed control from there. So I'm gonna go him and I might end up leading Zassian. Do I end up leading Zassian or do I end up leading you? I'm kind of leaning towards Eternatus here. I just like Eternatus. But yeah, we're gonna go Eternatus, bring Zassian in the back end, and then final Pokemon. Incineroar mm, could be good, or we go Blastoise. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards Blastoise a little bit. As you know, Kyogre's looking like a huge threat. He could just kind of. Like hop in there and dump on my uh, Incineroar, no problem. But dude, let's play. Uh, we're gonna go Blastoids. I'm gonna roll out with Blastoids. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. This one, this one's gonna be tough, guys. This one is going to be tough. If I win this one, yo, you guys need a sub. You guys need a sub if you're not subbed already. I, I figured if, if you're watching this long into the video, you guys are probably my subscribers. 
But uh, how about this? How about you just go follow my Twitter? <laughs> Brand new Twitter page. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you, know, you guys got to go check out the Twitter page. Hit that follow button. It really goes a long way. Trying to build a community over there. Like I said, it's easy to message me. You guys can just send me a message. I'll try to get... Well, I really want to like stay on top of Twitter here and make this like a community for everybody. And I really just want to message back as many people as I can. So if you guys want to send me a chat, send me what's up, say what's up, go ahead over there. I'll try to message back as much as I possibly can. But uh, he's going to end up going into these two. And I just think Dynamax is just going to be a beautiful little play. So I'm going to go here. And I could go for Sludge Bomb. But I think I'm just going to roll out into a... Uh, I'm going to go into a Dynamax Cannon. I'm thinking just Dynamax Cannon. Even though it's not very effective, I think he Dynamax is Solgaleo here, right? Is that his play? He's got it. He's got a Dynamax Solgaleo. So I'd rather Dynamax Cannon not proc weakness policy because all of them rock weakness policy. And then we can just go from there. Yeah, we're Dynamaxing. We outspeed him right now. So let's see what he does. He's got a Dynamax, right? Solgaleo is always Dynamax. And I wonder if this like a, oh, this got to be like a weakness policy, so good. But I wonder what Serene can do to proc that policy. Brutal swing? Is that what's rocking? But if he brutal swings, man, the fine gets popped, and then you're sitting in a bad, bad position. Let's see how he plays the one. Is he Dynamaxing? Yeah, yeah. So Dynamax Cannon is gonna do a decent amount of damage. Again, it's not very effective, but still double damage. It that's huge. That's huge. That is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. We love it. We love it. So he's gonna pull out his boy. Giant Lion. Every time I see this thing, it reminds me of Alex the Lion from uh, Madagascar. I love those movies. <laughs> Madagascar is so funny. He's going to end up protecting. Okay, that's a solid protect. It's a solid little protect. We still get our speed boost, but we got to get the chip off some damage here. Dynamax Cannon coming in hot. Send it, baby. Send it. How much damage are we really going to do? How much damage is this going to do? Like, it's solid. That, that's some good damage. Oh, it's a crit. That's gorgeous, though. We love that. We love that crit. We're going to go airstream, get some speed boost here, and uh, roll off from there. So, not bad damage on that field, too. We could uh, actually stick into an airstream onto the serene slot and get a little bit more speed. But I think we're fine on the speed boost. Plus one. They're thriving. What's this thing going to go for? Steel spike. So, he's steel spike. He's getting defense boost. He's going to go after him. Okay, so that's a little tough, but we still got That's fine. He gets a defense boost. We have uh, one physical attacker. On. One physical attacker. So, I could actually do this. I could actually roll into a Max Darkness, and the reason I want to do that is the lower special defense stats. So I'm going to do that and just Dynamax Cannon. Actually, that wouldn't work. But we do this. Let me just Sludge Bomb the slot. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's do it. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. And I think it's weakness policy, but still, I don't mind triggering it. Oh. I think he might just take out Eternatus. He might just take out Eternity. Let's see how this one plays out. Sludge Bomb comes through. Oh, later, Serene. Get it out of here. Get it out of my game. So we dump on that thing pretty early here. We allow it not to get off a single move. And then Max Dark is going to fly here. And this is where the battle is getting a little tough. Because we're proc policy here. How much damage are we really going to do? Yeah. That's tough. That's real tough. That's real tough. Okay, so policy gets proc. Go after Eternatus. He's going to go for Steel Spike. That's got to go after Eternatus, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm fine with that. Him taking out Eternatus. I really am fine with that. Uh, from here, we could just... Uh, we could just go into another Airstream and bring out Blastoise and just hide your camera, right? Right? That's that's kind of looking good because, like, this Behemoth Blade's not going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to do a lot of damage at all. At all to that plus two guy. Unless we get a crit, which I highly doubt. Yeah. So I feel like the Hydra Cannon is definitely in play because he's going to bring out him. Potentially Tailwind. Potentially Tailwind. I just think we need a bit more speed on the board. Let's go here. Let's go Blizzard, but uh, yeah, Hydra Cannon right in the Solgaleo. Right in the Solgaleo. And we're going to hope that the Solgaleo is going for. Oh, dude, this is tough. This is tough. But what's called should be able to eat him up? I think my, my Thunder should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, but still. Galeo weakness policy. That was a bad call by us. We shouldn't have proc the policy. We shouldn't have popped it. We should not have popped it. We should have just went for the Dynamax Cannon, the Airstream, and just went out from there. We would have got off more damage. We we would he wouldn't be posing a threat right now. We could have just Hey you jeans, what are you doing? That was a dummy play. That was a dummy play by jeans. We know all Solgalia's rocket. They, they're always rocking him. He's gonna end up swapping you. That's totally fine. That's a fine swap. He's gonna go into Kyle. That's a lovely swap. A lovely swap. We don't mind that one bit. What do you think I was going into? Well, what's that for? Oh, that actually makes my Hydra Cannon do more. It makes my Cannon do a lot more. I thought he was going to go into a Tailwind. 
That should be that should be GG's, right? That should be GG's. That should be game. That was a horrible swap by him. We get speed boost. He gives us the rain now. Hydro Cannon should just be able to dump on this thing. And that's that's game over, right? That's game over. That's G to the G's. Right? Hydro Cannon comes in hot. Later, Sergalio. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Because I was kind of skeptical about uh that damage right there. I didn't know if he was gonna do enough damage, but once he brought out the rain, I was like, oh, it's over with. And I thought maybe he would just tailwind, set up speed, and then have Sogeo take out my blast ones. Hey, I, I, I'm i fine with I'm fine with what he just did. That's huge for us. He's going to go on Thunder. So he could Tailwind, but I, my uh, Thunder should be able to outspeed still. And I'm just going to drop a Wild Charge. Wild Charge and Blizzard? Or... Or wait, we can't even move with our uh, Blast Wings. Totally forgot. But it was definitely wild. Self Assassin. We're going to go for Wild Charge. The only problem that actually he can't water spout. Let me see. I mean, we have a salt vest. I mean, he can water spout, but it's not going to do that much damage. Assault vest is doing us good. Let's see what he does. Tailwind. Can you outspeed him? Can you outspeed him, Thunders? You can. I love you, Thunders. That's going to take him out all day. Later, Kyogre. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. We love it, yo. Perfect record again? Yo, new season. We are starting off so good. We are starting off so good. So good. 6 and 0 for the brand new season. And back to back perfect record videos. You gotta love it. We're just gonna throw a Swallow Charge this way. We're gonna throw a Blizzard his way too, but I believe he just can't battle, right? He's just like, yeah, this one's over. There it is, yo. Another perfect record for Sword and Shield. Not one win, not two wins, but three wins in a row yet again. That puts us at 6 0 for the brand new season and back to back perfect record videos. You guys gotta love it. There it is for you guys. Love this team so much. We have the Zacian and Eternatus combo right there, alongside with the Blastoids and Thunders, who were our main Dynax Pokemon, and then more so support mods in Cinnamore and Grimstone. Really, really good team all around. Once you kind of like control the speed and get it into your favor, you could be thriving out because you have Pokemon like Eternatus and Zacian that can just dump on Dynamax Pokemon left and right but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody